I've managed that silently before, so let me try that again. What is Gandamize? Oh, and now the guy over in the corner has yellow alerted over the cat statuette. I didn't know that he would do that. There we go. Silence. That's what we're after. Now, as I move forward to this skeleton, it's got a purse next to it. 50 gold brings my total to 64%. Now, inside this room, I hear silence, so it's already happened one way or the other. But some pagans get into a fight with some Kershock. And you never really know who the survivors are going to be or what you're going to have to deal with in this room. I see that one Kershock has survived. So... He should not be too difficult to sneak around, thankfully. You see over on this shelf... There's a silver candlestick, which... I think I should be able to get. If I can just... Hold tight to the shelf... And get close to it. That's worth 50, brings my total to 65%. And... Over here near them, up on top of the shelf, there's a copper bowl worth 100, brings my total to 68%. Now you see over behind him, next to the blue flame, another water arrow. To get that, we're just going to have to go around. Not too difficult, all things considered. Up here at the top, behind, right behind the statue, there's a silver urn worth 150, brings my total to 71%. And he'll just stand out there with his weapon out. Looks like we got... Two. The pagans got two of the Kershock, so they didn't do too badly for themselves. Got the water arrow, no trouble there. Let's go tackle the library. Which is the area at the top of these stairs. That was a prit. You see two more of Rafe's glyphs on the ground in here. Uh, that was a pretty favorable outcome for the melee, so I'll do a real save. I don't think there's anything to the right. I'll what is? Count nothing. Count something. Yeah, there's nothing over there. I'll be honest, I don't know what the heck the guy on the other side of the wall was green alerting to. There must be some little spot where for whatever reason he can see through the solid wall. Because I was crouched. But anyway, we can just follow the patroller. Here to the east is a rare book. Worth 100, brings my total to 74%. When the patroller passes by again, he'll yellow alert over that, so just be warned. There's his friend. Just gonna wait until his back is turned, then move across. There are two copper coins above this book and the book itself. Count ten for king and crown. Crown is spelled wrong with two W's. Gruliak the Great fell and lost his hand and wore the crown till he died. Gruliak spawned Grustem, brain fevered to search for upper world. You see, the spelling is off, so they... We see that the Kershock are devolving, getting stupider as time goes on. Spawned Grenderic the Generous, shared the crown. So, spawned is missing an E, it's spelled S-P-A-W-N-D. Till is only spelled with one L. 
Brain f fevered is missing an E. It's F E V E R D. Search is missing its A. It's spelled S E R C H. Spawned, again spelled wrong. Grenderic the Generous, which is spelled wrong. It's missing the U. G E N E R O S. Shared the Crown, again spelled wrong. Two W's. To Friends, missing the I. F R E N D S. At Hatchling Day, who killed. Killed is spelled wrong. K I L D. Him and kept for there. T-H-E-R, own. Stop line of blood kings, start lesser kings. Kershock suffered, S-U-F-F-E-R-D. King Orpet, who spawned, S-P-A-W-N-D. Orpetolia, who ruled, R-U-L-D, for 50, but knew nothing. King Boromin took crown, C-R-W-W-N. Scholar, S-C-O-L-A-R, who tried, T-R-I-D, to save the learnings, but failed, F-A-I-L-D. Pertok spawned, S-P-A-W-N-D. Bergamus spawned, S-P-A-W-N-D. Gruvat, kin, kin of Grenderic, spawned, S-P-A-W-N-D. Formac spawned, S-P-A-W-N-D. Moriac, all wore the crown, C-R-W-W-N, but say no more on its power. The crown, C-R-W-W-N, not loved Kershock. The last kings are Tormac, Fromulat, Bissett, and Murdiac, then chaos times come. The crown, C-R-W-W-N, waits until we have a great king to offer, until we learn all that is forgotten, F-O-R-G-O-T-E-N, until there are foes to battle, until there are new thrones. And Scholar, S-C-O-L-A-R, and Kershock, named of Tourish, who writes this, will be gone past counting. Oops. Something cannot that alert was the yellow alert over the missing red book, or rare book. Oh, maybe not. Probably need to time that a little better. So... Let's try it again. That's the problem, okay. He's turning his head back this way right before he heads around the corner, so... I need to hold off my movement. Good day, don't you count me? There we go. So, two copper coins, 25 each. My totals remain at 75, or go increase to 75% and stay at 75%. Here's the book again. That time I wasn't fast enough. Wait just a minute, he'll, uh, head for- What is I hear? What counts there? That was the yellow alert over the missing rare book. So while he's gone, I'll nab this other rare book from over here. It's another hundred, brings my total to 78%. Well... I think he's still green alerted just before because he usually only green alerts in response to the other guy's yellow so I think he must have already greened right before going yellow Good day, don't you count me
There we go. That's what I was expecting. It is gone. The pink one tech. The tech. The green alert from the guy next to me was in response to the yellow alert from the other patroller who noticed the missing rare book. Then, the guy next to me just yellow alerted over the missing copper coins. But, that's all allowed according to my rules without any busts. So, we're right where we want to be. I'm gonna wait for the alerts to settle. So when you get in here, you get a new objective to read Rafe's journal for a clue about how he died. So next to Rafe, there's another golden dagger worth 50. Brings my total to 76%. I just realized I forgot the rare book outside, so I'm gonna go get that at the next opportunity. In case it wasn't obvious, he'll notice that rare book missing, too. I'm gonna wait until he's... ...not moving, has his back to it, then I'll take it. It should be right about now. There we go. That's a hun worth a hundred, brings my total to 79%. And they're gonna, he'll yellow alert again eventually, but next to Rafe's skeleton is the glyph key, which completes the objective, find the keeper glyph key. And let's read Rafe's journal. Saturday, I encountered the Kershock. Luckily, I did not reveal myself, turning back before the Kershock guard saw me. Interestingly, the creature was keeping watch over a crown, possibly gold, though it was tarnished with age. No doubt valuable for those concerned about such things. Alas, the crown isn't what I seek, or I would be on my way home to rest and food. Tuesday. I have set more glyphs to guide me home when I find the key. All proceeds well, but why did Keeper Gadwall refuse me expedition status? Why did the council not vote? When I return, there will be answers, but for now I must wait. Notes and map are incomplete. Why could I not use the journal from the last trip? Thursday. I have found the glyph key, but the Kershock spied me and they are relentless in their pursuit. For the moment I am safe, I have found my way into an ancient library and secured the door. Apparently these beasts could once read and write. Perhaps living in these caves for generations has eroded their faculties. Monday. Every hour the Kershock try the door. Sometimes I wish they would break through. No other exit. Why was the key so important, so hungry? If I could eat and drink glyphs, will they rescue me? No one comes. I think I was sent. They hoped for this. Why don't they want the key? What do they fear? So tired. So that, of course, completes the objective. Read Rafe's journal for a clue about how he died. So, the yellow alert over the other rare book is... Impending. There it is. So I'm going to wait for them to settle. Look and look and find or not find. Only rap noise. Nothing. I count. I pretend only. Okay, they're done. Now we just need to get out.
I'm amazed there were no alerts just then, because that was pretty atrocious timing. Back to this shadow. Pink man built the wall, but where do they go after? Or are we go? <laughs> All right, got through there with no alerts. Fine and dandy. Probably need to wait for him to pass by. This is a good spot to do that. Now we can sneak back down this back passage. Get over to the door. I'll wait for the patroller to pass one more time, and then we can get back out of the library. Alright, having all that done is worth a real save to me, no question. So with him still there, that stairway is not an option. The good news is we can climb this wall and advance that way. We just have to worry about the guy up top. So I'm going to check the timing on him, which is bad right now. So I'll wait on the wall until I hear him reach the end and walk away, and then I'll sneak up behind him. and. I'll advance that way. <laughs> Once you get up, you're reasonably safe. First thing to do is head to the east, down into that little pool of water, where you can find a jade worth a hundred. Brings my total to 81%. Need to get out here. Is something to the dark. I got I don't know if I was heard or spotted. I think I was heard. So I need to move a little slower. <sighs> oh, nope. I was spotted. Didn't even see that dude. So it was a visual, didn't get heard. Good to know. Well, let's, uh, let's survey his disposition and not try to bust it out of here until the coast is actually clear. How does that sound? Now, he doesn't stay down here long, so I'm going to wait and cross when he heads the other way. There's a 
buddy's on his way back now. Oh, that guy's doing the baby step maneuver now. That's alright, he'll get himself out of it eventually, I'm sure, just like the first hammerite I saw doing that. Anyway, now I should be able to get out behind this guy. Right now I'm just trying to get across the hall. Inside this coffin, you can reach him through the wall, are three broadhead arrows. One, two, three. Now next, I need to get up this other set of stairs. Creeping across here can be kinda tough. Just because of all the debris on the ground. But once you get to the stairs, you're reasonably safe and like I thought he got himself out of baby step mode which is good I'm gonna real save cuz getting out of there was harder than I remember it being for sure now I'll go up these stairs I'm gonna move in behind this guy I need to wait and see what he does. There are a couple of pieces of loot to get in this little side area. I kind of need to see which way he's walking, because it's always the best bet just to follow him. So he's going clockwise this time. So right behind him, I'll just creep up over these rocks and grab the Kershock Tapestry off the wall. It's worth 50, brings my total to 82%, but it's the third piece of special loot, which completes the objective, find at least three special loot items. Three found. Booyah. So if he's going this way, I think I'm safe if I wall flatten in here, so wait till he passes through, and then grab that nugget on my way farther upstairs. So, with that silver nugget in hand, that's another 100, brings my total to 85%. And head up these stairs. There's no one else left up here. That takes us all the way to the There's throne the crown. room. But I see I'm going to have to work for it. So the throne room is tricky. Getting the crown isn't too hard, but one of those guys will red, at least one, possibly both, will red alert when they notice the crown missing. So again, if you think that that busts ghost, Unlike the candlestick, you absolutely have to grab the crown, so if you think that red alert's a bust, then you can't ghost the mission. So, up here on the second floor, at the top of this pillar, you can grab a diamond. It's worth 100, 150 and brings my total to 89%. You have to aim for the railing when you drop down, otherwise you'll take damage. So then... I like to creep over and I'll do a real save right here cuz it's about to get real up in here 
Now, despite being illuminated, no one should see me. Yet. If you jump from the balcony to the chandelier, you can usually land silently. And from the top of the chandelier, you can go ahead and grab the crown. Damn, green alert. I wasn't actually even trying to silently drop. I was trying to get back to the balcony by way of mantling over the pillar. So let's try that maneuver again. Well, silent landing, that's good enough. So that, of course, completed the objective to steal the Kershock crown from the former throne room. Now let's wait for the alert to kick in. It's gonna be... they're gonna go nuts when they see it gone. Which will happen right... He's gonna face out. Then he'll turn around, and then the alert will trip. Where did Crown go? Oh, a take. I hear. What is that? You know what is that? Let's see, he comes right to wherever you are. So just make sure you're perfectly Not hidden. Sure. Not sure. Now he'll stay red alerted the ent until the mission ends, until I leave. Same with this guy's yellow alert. They'll both wander around here and then eventually head out into the rest of the level to search for you. Look for at me. I still need to open the two chests in this room. Not sure. Not sure. Looking. Might as well start with the easy one. It's over in the northwest corner. They both have silver four stage locks on them, so it's uh up left. Right, down left, up. Inside is a handful of gems and two silver coins. That's worth 200. The coins are worth 50 each. They bring my total to 93%, 95%, 96%. That, of course, completes the objective to steal at least 90% of the loot. 96% stolen. Just have to get into the other chest. Shouldn't be too tough. But his yellow alert will never end. Neither will the other guy's red alert, so you can't wait for them to settle down. Not sure. Not sure. I've got it unlocked. I'd like him to get farther away so he doesn't you know reaffirm his alert or whatever. <laughs> when I open and close the chest. But we're very near the end. This chest and getting out are all that's left. Um, this hard cover might be enough, but I doubt it. Well, it's enough for opening. And it's good for closing, good. So there are two piles of gold coins in there, 75 each, which bring my total to 98% and 100%. So, with everything else done, all we have to do now is get out. We have to get back up to the balcony. The main exit is out of the question, 
because yeah, there you can Something see him past the blue flame. There's a stationary guard who just stares down that brightly lit hallway without ever moving. But what we can do is mantle onto the throne, to the back, to the chandelier. Damn. We need to. We need to get up, back up to the chandelier without getting seen, and then we can execute the move I failed at right after grabbing the crown and get back to the balcony. Which is what we need to do to escape. Not sure. Not sure. Looking. Damn. I was trying to be clever and get straight onto the back of the throne without having to do the intermediate step up the side, but no dice. No dice. I know what you're probably thinking, at least if you think like me. But, uh, I haven't found a way Fine to get up. I, catch and eat. I have not found a way up using the climbing gloves. There are no complete holes in the balcony that would let you climb up the wall. Find the noise I catch and eat. This might be favorable, kind of depends where he goes from there. Nope. Find the noise I catch and eat. Alright, let's try again. <laughs> yeah, this isn't gonna work. He's on his way. Find the noise I catch and eat. <laughs> something, something time to work. There we go, that's what we needed. So, uh, successfully getting back to the balcony is worth another real save, if you ask me. Look for at me. Hmm, uh-oh. Oh, gee. Good thing I real saved. Because Garrett got stuck. So like I said, um, this yellow alerted fellow will wander around the throne room looking for me, and he'll never stop. The uh, His yellow alert will never end. And similarly, his red alerted compatriot. Well, that was nuts. All right, try again. May have to jump, but I hope not. I count again. Damn it, Garrett! Really, that made noise? I do not remember having this much trouble with this little gap in the floor. For some reason, my practice runs are almost always easier than when I try to make the recording. 
No problem. Let's let's try a different technique. Ah, yeah, that's not gonna work. Given the short distance, I sort of expected Garrett to be okay mantling onto the railing, but as he often does, he decided he'd rather not mantle today. Meh. No thanks. Well, let's let him get a little farther away, and then I'll just suck it up and jump and make the landing. How does that sound? If, in fact, he ever will get a little farther away. Something, something can't do well. Good. You can tell the difference between if he hears you again versus a regular alert, because you heard him every time say, There! I heard it again! Or whatever. Versus the usual continuing alert remarks, which include something, something, counting, where. Anyway, now that we're out of there... The other one, the one that red alerted, will gradually work his way all the way through the level to the bathhouse. But what he doesn't do, thankfully, is propagate his alert to any of the other Kershock. Or we could be in real trouble. So just need to wait until this area is clear. I'll try, try to f move out again when he heads back into the side area, but hopefully this time I should be following the other patroller down the stairs. Yes, good. Saw the other fellow break off to the right. Of course, the guy down at the blue flame and water will be by shortly. There he is coming back upstairs. So let's wall flatten here, let him pass by. Count you. Count you. Then we'll try to sneak out behind this fellow. Use the pillar as cover to get by this guy as we break back here. There's the main entrance and exit to the throne room. You know, in case you were curious. There's the red alerted guy. Looks like he has made his way all the way back. Um, I haven't seen him go that way before. Well, that's definitely going to up the... Uh, Bodies discovered number since you know all his buddies are dead in there. And now we just need to get past these two guys in the bathhouse. Not that tough to do. Now, occasionally you can run into trouble here. I've had it happen where I spawn into the outer citadel and the rat man is staring right at me, so hopefully that won't happen. <laughs> well, that's just about it. Getting out of getting out of here is really pretty easy. I like to wall flatten here till I see him and then follow him out. Now he's going to head to the right eventually. Well, eventually he should do it right away since he was just in here. 
I'll slip out behind him. Back to the theater one last time. And here we can play the same game. I'm just going to wait till I see the rat man and then follow him along the western wall and avoid the pagans that way. Now we need to get past this fellow. The best way is just to wait till we see him, then follow him along his circle. look a bit more like werewolves than giant rats to me, but I think I mentioned this back in Thief 2, but in Thief Gold, these critters, you could reasonably say that they were either monkey men or rat men. It was hard to say with any certainty. I mean, they look more like monkeys to me, except for their big, long, giant rat tails. In Thief 2, in Trail of Blood, they were very unambiguously monkeys. And yet in Thief 3, they're very unambiguously rats. So, it goes so far as Garrett saying, giant rats, great. So, I wonder why they did that. Anyway, the last thing we have to do is get through the entry plaza, which isn't too tough. Since we've got the loot, we can hug the outer wall and get out that way. Last little snag. It's very easy to get through here without any alerts. So I vote we do it. But maybe we should try heading this way instead. There we go. That'll work. So here's our entrance tunnel. And here the mission will end. You are about to end the mission. Do you want to continue? Yes. Well, I didn't make any new friends, but I found the glyph key that the keepers have been searching for. Plus, I picked up a little something extra for myself. Not really my style in hats, but the gold it's made of should be worth a fair bit. According to Rafe's journal, the Keepers lost the key decades ago. Huh. Only took me a day to find it. Yep, we're awesome, as usual. Alright, let's take a peek at the stats. Difficulty expert. Time elapsed, 46 minutes. Loot stolen, 4100 out of 4100. That's 100%. Times caught zero, opponents blackjacked zero, opponents killed zero, stealthy kills zero, non-combatants killed zero, locks picked four, pockets picked zero, bodies discovered one from one of those two scripted melees, you'll remember. Damage taken zero, healing taken zero. Can't total for game. Time elapsed is 459 minutes and... I'm writing this, I'm writing down the campaign totals for my ghost report, so forgive me if it slows down a bit. Loot stolen, 19,900. 
times caught zero. Opponents blackjacked one. That's the innkeeper in the training mission. Opponents killed zero. Stealthy kills zero. Non-combatants killed zero. Locks picked 61. Pockets picked 33. Uh, bodies discovered four. Damage taken zero. Healing taken zero. Perfect. So let's look at what gear we've got at the end of that. Blackjack, dagger, 25 water arrows, 30 broadhead arrows, 5 noisemaker arrows, 5 gas arrows, 20 moss arrows, 15 fire arrows, 17,300 gold, 5 holy waters, 4 oil flasks, 10 health potions, 2 explosive mines, 20 flash bombs, 4 gas bombs, same upgrades, eye, door glyph, lock picks, climbing gloves, moss arrows, broadhead arrows, loot, 4650, quest items, Include the Velvet Bag, the Pagan Sapling, the Climbing Gloves, the Compendium of Reproach, the Glyph Key, the Kershock Crown, and all my keys. And that's it. I'll hit continue. It'll take us back to the Keeper Library. I'll see you there. So we... S we start in the same place. Let's see what our objectives have done. We've completed search the sewers in the docks to locate the entrance to the sunken citadel in order to find the missing glyph key that the keepers are searching for. And we've got a new objective. Visit the Forbidden Library to hear Katika read from the Compendium of Reproach. Notes include the Pagan Favors, the Hammer Favors, and our Landlord's Blackmail. We're still restricted in, as regards the keepers. And that's it. I'm going to leave it right there. That's the sunken citadel. We were able to ghost it and perfect thief it, arguably. If you bust it because of a red alert related to loot, which I don't think you should, the mission's unghostable. It isn't supremable, but the only supreme bust is involved in getting the large diamond. You can't skip it, it's a special loot item you have to grab, but I have to use one water arrow and I have to take some green alerts to get it. So that's that, the mission can't be supremed. As far as I'm concerned, it can be ghosted. And that is it for now. I will see you guys next time for The City Day 5. Bye bye